That should work for Robbie. NYC, the mecca of basketball. I'm sure you can play it anywhere with just a ball and a net. But when you've got the people in the apartment buildings watching, the other players trash talking, and the sound of rubber hitting asphalt, there's a reason they call it the city game. <laughs> it's reminds me of the people who write into the bugle and a few who work there freedom of speech is a beautiful thing but saying a thing over and over again doesn't make it true but you'd be surprised just how accurate that guy actually is There's things about people that can't be explained in general. should work for Robbie. I mean, if I was rich, I'd take advantage of that backdrop too. I'd also be worried about constantly launching balls off the roof, but I guess they can afford it. stage or in the open air. Where else can you see legends and soon to be legends performing every day? London? That's really far away. corporation is behind a bioweapon unintentionally getting released into the city. series just on New York's music. Its impact, the communities it built, its outright brilliance. It's hard to encapsulate in one photo, but this isn't bad. Oh. 
That's that awesome. My best friend's kid painted this. I remember her showing me a sketch of it the day before it went up. New York is nothing without its people. aren't the only superheroes in New York. Getting students to class on time? One of the greatest powers I've ever seen. I feel like that is also relevant somehow. funny for some reason. Really? Big crowd of people right there. social media and I can say a lot it's helped so many businesses stay afloat here when they would have gone under a long time ago Should work for Robbie. You know, for a place where everyone's comfortable calling out when something's wrong, people here sure hate admitting when they're wrong. The writer in me does love the iron. Okay, this is awesome. <laughs>
gotta hand it to New Yorkers. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to be funny there. If there's a good time to be had, they'll find it. This guy dips his hot dog buns in tomato juice before eating them. Now, I get that it makes it easy for them to go down, but tomato juice? Brother, that ain't right. I mean, tomato is the key ingredient to make ketchup. because of all the articles about his new flavors but his traditional ones would have kept you coming back sometimes the classic is the classic for a reason just can't beat the classics youth baseball team here every game we played the parents talk more trash than the kids myself included <clears throat> there should be one more but i don't know where it is Even been to a few shows myself. 
that combination of theatricality with amazing feats of strength and athleticism, it's electrifying. Hey, Robbie, you got the photo? I think it's a good one to close my submissions with. Yeah, it's fantastic. But I'm a bit surprised you're stopping now since you left out two of the biggest parts of New York. The Spider-Man. I mean, I don't know if they're that big. And they are kind of controversial. Everything I see in these photos. All the stories and history and life. None of it would still be here if it wasn't for the Spider-Man. I hope they know that. I bet they have some idea. Well, thanks for the photos, Peter. You've always been better at this than you give yourself credit for. I don't think that... Thanks, Robbie. You know, I would have liked it if it ended with a bit of a side quest with... Spider-Man and Miles taking a selfie together. Those symbiotes won't stop until they get inside! Oh, my luck had to run out at some point. Shit. Okay. That was a weird glitch. Anyway, um... This was really fun to do. I hope you thought so, too. If you did enjoy this, please like and subscribe.